எல்லோருக்கும் வணக்கம் முதற்கண் மருத்துவ ஒப்பீட முந்தலில் இருக்கும் வைரவபெருமானின் திருவள்ள வேண்டி ஆனந்தமாய் என் அறிவாய் நிறைந்த அவுணவுமாய் ஆனந்தமான வடிவடியால் மறை நான்கிருக்கும் ஆனந்தமான சர்னாரவிந்தம் தவள நிறக்க ஆனந்தம் ஆடுறங்க மங்கிரான் முடிக்கண்டியது ஸோ ஆல் ஹியூமன் பீயிங்ஸ் தே ஆல் வாண்ட் பி ஹாப்பி சட்சம் ஓஸ் அல்டிமேட் திங் ஸோ ஆல் வாண்ட் பி ஹாப்பி ஸோ சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கணும் ஆத்மா சுவா ஸோ ஃபார் தேட் ஒன் பிக் சேஞ்ச் சேஸ் த நாலேஜ் இஸ் த வே ஸோ நாலேஜ் ப்ரிங் ஹாப்பினஸ் So, Lord Krishna says, even little advancement of knowledge may save you from the greatest fear of your life. Even the COVID pandemic, the whole thing paralyzed. Even the planes are paralyzed. They are in the garages or hangers. But we are able to pull this edification in the university because of this uh, technology. So, technology... it says basically come from science engineering and technology is the three phases so even the current technology i lived in edinburgh you all know edinburgh is famous for medical education also uh, even the digital technology 200 years ago the foundation one done by the james clark maxwell if you go to edinburgh university the james clark maxwell buildings are there he actually integrated the electricity and magnetism as a one thing electromagnetic theory so that's the basis for everything today what you do in the signal processing and it in the digital world so it's done 200 years ago by scientists then the engineers came in the uh, in the uh, mid 90s so the semiconductor technology come the valves gone then the transistor come then all kind of things are coming now i can do everything with this phone so this is the technology going so when the technology comes then how do we utilize them otherwise you will be left out if everyone jumping if you don't jump then you perish so you are forced to do so actually the knowledge a little advancement in knowledge so this is a pandemic time if you don't have a technology i think your medical faculty would have been shut down but he still is able to cater the people because the video conferencing system even today i am speaking you are hearing so the video conferencing system we thank many people in this world for this uh, kind of uh, uh, you know assistance they provide through the hard work they sacrifice because uh, uh, sacrifice and dharma goes as a uh, two sides of a one coin so here also i see you are uh, dean uh, retiring uh, or outgoing dean he left on the 12th of this month raviraj he has been with us for a long time since a student from 1979 so we have now admitted the 43rd batch to the faculty of medicine so out of that uh, the post war students and the pre war the war time students i think you are in the us and canada you belongs to first 33 batches the first 33 batches surendra kumar and all these raviraj and all have undergone uh, very hardship but you had a quality education so i could see the figures like nandi is here bala subramanian sir who were is here so all these people without technology they have provided this education even professor raviraj was also as a surgeon he served and then he took a mandal of the dean so there are a lot of things go- happening and today what is happening from your side also another value addition even this 7 million is matters because when you have a bicycle if you don't have a wire tube then there is no point then you can't run the bicycle similarly even today next week i am going to write a check for 250 million to pay the remuneration amendment for the employees i have 2000 employees in the university so next week i am going to write a check for 250 million but even that matter i can't do anything for this student in it because there's no provision for that it's like a scenario you have a nice bicycle 2000 staff 13000 students but you don't have a tool like this to do your business you know it's like a valve tube is only uh, my phone is maybe 2 lakhs that, that that's not a by my rover salary for half a million so 
this is a scenario. This is a very irony. One side, the government providing a lot of things. At the same time, we are unable to, we don't have a freedom to use that money for that purpose. Our Lord Krishna said, not more than necessary. This is his theory in the whole Bhagavad Gita. So to be contented. Contentment also brings happiness. So not more than necessary. Whenever I was young, I was told, what are the necessary things for your life? Uh, clothing, food, shelter, clothing. These are the necessary things for life. That's what I was told when I was young. Now my son, I had to tell, okay, what are the necessary things for your life? You, you need clothing, you need shelter, you need food, you need IT. Otherwise, you can't even do some business like uh, go to medical center and get that thing done. Even Thailand or somewhere, you have to go with the microchips, you get your, meet your family doctor. Otherwise, we won't know. If I if a northern hospital or hospital, I had to go with a clinic book. So no more book anymore. It's give the microchip. So you have to take that microchip to go to the hospital. So they put it in and see all your records. So th this is the way the things are moving. So IT, so I always say in my student, so sex for all. It doesn't matter. Even the refugee camps or even for the people in a very pathetic condition, they enjoy sex. So people uh, enjoy sports, sports for all. Similarly, IT for all. So it's not for uh, medical faculty alone. So if the medical faculty people are left out of this, then they become outclassed because the out, outlooking is very important. So people coming from different, different background, they show you eloquency and they show their outlook and they survive. When they go to interviews, they perform. So they ask, even I ask normally in an IT related interview, can you say what are the present challenges of the 5G technology? So some people are aware of it, they score marks. Some people are not aware of it, they won't score marks. So these are the scenarios. So when you come to alumni, so whatever the input you give, even Sriruli Perivalla, so whatever the input you give, it's an extraordinary help because although I manage a lot of money, so I, I, I really, in, as a by chance, I say, our turnover for the whole year is 4 billion. Out of 4 billion, I have uh, infrastructure development only 500 million and recurrent I have 400 million. And this kind of student related activities, I have few millions. So whatever you do, it matters. And that, 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 is, the, that is the real thing you are doing. Your compassion and the, 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 because you are the, 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 the wartime uh, you know, product. So 43 batch means we are committed to and already produce around 3,000, 3,500 doctors. Already five set of doctors are here. So 3,500 doctors, although you are decorating all over the world, and holding different posts and serving the people, serving the humanity. But here, in our hospital, even the Corona ward, we are not in crisis because our brave array of the, our doctors and the nurses and the medical professionals is unbelievably good. Only lockdown for the country, for other people, but not for the doctors and uh, engineers uh, and this kind of uh, construction workers. So with the, all the endeavors, now we are building up eight-story professorial uh, buildings for, for this. Even Raviraj, um, actually, Professor Raviraj actually instrumented that project. So there are so many value addition we are doing. That matters, even the, but it's a difference between West and East. We, we, because the West make things uh, outlook better and they, 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 they deliver something very nice. Actually, sometimes we are lopsided in developing so many things. So we sometimes develop so many big temples in billions. Even I myself uh, resurrecting a university paramation and temple is 60 million project. 60 million project. I already I spent 550 million, only 10, 50 million I had to spend. You know, the resurrection of Parameshwara temple. Parameshwara is now in the centenary year. Because these kind of things, also, that's also I am getting the money from the alumni and uh, uh, Ramana and trust and everything. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. So I don't want to have a big lecture. So I can express my gratitude from uh, the university point of view for all the alumni and continuous engagement with you because you know, whatever you do for this kind of activities also give you a pleasure. I know we are in a bridge, but when you give an opportunity to uh, offer to other people, you become very happy because the charity also brings happiness. Sometimes Lord Ramakrishna said, if everyone is like a king and queen, 
then you don't have opportunity to do dharma. Because everyone eat in a gold plate. Then what is there for you to offer? You don't have to offer. So here, our faculty struggling means is a natural arrangement for various resources to build up that give you opportunity for you to share your alma mater, you serve in the alma mater, patta gadan, padala gadan, petta gadan, and then raya kadangalang alagiriga, because you also brought up here with the sacrifice of so many people and so many public money and uh, so much of commitment from our earlier uh, founders and pioneers and who served in this faculty. So whenever I give you an opportunity, even I myself was a, uh, contemporary to Professor Raviraj in 79 entered. So last 40 years I am here witnessing all what has been happening and most of you would know uh, me also. So, no, the, so this is what uh, I could say. I am very delighted and as a Vice Chancellor, okay, we serve only three years. So we want to have a developer system. So this IT group led by Gandhadasan and Dr. Murugan and Professor Gandhadasan and Kumarendra not only is thinking about IT, Recently, he put a memo to Senate for the music center. <laughs> so, these are very important right? because you have to celebrate your life. It's not eating and alone. So, you, you celebrate your life. You to, uh, my son, when he gets angry, he sits on my, his piano and play. So, I can understand what the piece he plays and what he is going to express. So, this is an expression. So, he sits down on the piano and goes like brum, brum, brum. So, I can understand what he is trying to express. So, similarly, what wonderful thing. A lot of uh, sad thing happened recently. Our your dean, I want to congratulate him, the new dean, Surendra Kumar. He was MSU, MSU president and he has been here right from the beginning, from intern. He has been committed to this faculty. So that has to be uh, now he is enjoying your company. So he is the most trusted person and committed person. So new dean. So I welcome him also. And I am really want to play a, a role. Uh, to engage you all in uh, uh, this uh, kind of uh, very furtive endeavor. I, I may finish my speech like this. Say, we have fingers like this. The fingers are individually uh, designed. It doesn't stick together. If it stick together, then it's like a handi handicap thing. So it's, uh, it's just uh, individuality. I, you maintain your individuality. You are in the US, I am in the Jaffna, and maybe somebody else in a different, different profession. But we unite together like this way to achieve something, to punch, and then you go like this. So that's the way the life should be. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I really want to congratulate all the teams and, uh, you know, technical side and uh, deans and former dean and all the IT group and Kumarendra and instrumenting all this and Gune and all this staff for the wonderful this arrangement with this uh, Engaging this alumni in this fruitful project. That is the challenge. Engaging. Money is everywhere. You don't create money. It's there. But engaging is art. So you have done that. So thank you very much. I'm very delighted. And I want to express my uh, sincere thanks for all of you. I had to be with the British High Commission at half past nine. Otherwise, I could go on like this. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.